Well, here at 23ABC, we cover the news that you need to know, but we're also looking to cover those more positive stories, especially this Thanksgiving. Yeah, that includes a cafe in Kentucky that pays it forward during the Thanksgiving holiday. Claire Crouch with our sister station has more on one business's efforts to make sure that everyone's getting a good Thanksgiving dinner. After over a year of pandemic closures, layoffs, and supply chain issues, Kyle Fannin is thankful. I'm thankful for the community. This is a community cafe. Uh, that's just a name until you go through something like the pandemic. The executive director of the nearly three-year-old Spark Cafe knows it's the community they serve that's pulled them through these trying times, allowing them not only to survive, but to continue their mission of feeding the food insecure. One day there was a knock at the door and people just started coming and handing us checks. So as Thanksgiving nears, they're showing no sign of slowing down. For the third year, the Pay It Forward Cafe is pulling out all the stops for a Thanksgiving feast that not only tastes great, but of course, helps others. Our goal this year is to do is to sell Pay It Forward 250 and give away 50. And the way it works is you buy your meal and 20% of that cost will go to buy meals for the food insecure. Fannin says it's not just a good cause. He is adamant it's the best food in central Kentucky, thanks in part to head chef Isaiah Screech. What a way to be able to give back to your community and also have a great feast. With a background in catering from Keeneland, Screech has given Spark the confidence to branch out. Now he's cooking up fresh Thanksgiving meals with local ingredients that include three sides, a three pound turkey or ham, and dessert. To just know that you're feeding all of these people from the community, tour all the people that are coming through the door and they're leaving tips to help feed the food insecure. Um, it just warms your heart. A way of saying thanks and giving thanks. Something that Fannin and company never seem to tire of. People are looking for a way to give back and when you prove to them that you're going to, to help those who really need it, they, they're very generous.